And what is good in your hoods, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Diverse Comics and Pop. In today's episode, I visit the comic book shop today. Yes, I went to my local comic book shop, Alternative Reality Comic Shop, here in Chicago on the south side. And yes, I had got me some comics and I got me some Brigade Remastered. Yes, and I'm in that book. Even though I already had it, I wouldn't go get it again. <laughs> and let me just say that the reason I went to my local comic shop here where I live in Chicago, I turned to reality comic shop is because I love supporting my comic book shop. It's a community, I love it. Um, and also, we have to understand that comic book shops are being coming very distinctive. It's like it's not really a lot of comic book shops like that anymore. Um, Due to the pandemic, when it hit in 2020, a lot of comic book shops could not stay above float. Some closed its doors. It was other getting donations here and there, but they just couldn't stay above, guys. They had to close its doors. Even though people are getting their comics offline, like, you know, we got a lot of, like, you know, the internet has taken over. You know, you, you can just get a comic book, show, comic book, just go on in it and get it. But, you know, it's just nothing like going to your local comic shop and just supporting it and getting that book you want right there in your hand without waiting three or four weeks or whatever I mean long it take you know to get the book through mail sometimes them books get lost in mail see what I'm saying but it's nothing like just going to your local comic shop and supporting it and going to get that book that you always wanted find that book that you always could never get um, at the time you know what I mean it's nothing like just going and supporting man and um, if you went, I had took a video of me going into uh, my comic shop today, um, and you hear a guy as I was just you know filming, showing you guys you know toys and all that. He said, "Man, it's not a lot of comic book shops anymore, man. And I'm just enjoying it." And he was right. It's not a lot of comic book shops, um, and it's just so sad, you know. But it's nothing like cherishing it, man, because you just never know when. That comic book shop in your community is going to close. You're going to walk back one day and say, man, I wish I just could have just went up in there and got me a few books. You know what I mean? So it's good to support. Like I said, I went there. I got my books. I had got some back issues that I always wanted that, um, that I didn't have in my collection. Like, you know, like the Spider-Man, the Web of Spider-Man, uh, issue 15. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I got the thing. I got the thing here. I was wanted this issue. You know, this is issue 17, I believe. Yes, issue 17 of the thing. You know, I got uh I got the Hawk. I got this for a great deal. He gave this deal to me for like uh three bucks. Hawk annual issue. You know, um I also found uh this right here. I already got this, but I wanted it again because the other one I had was kind of ripped and tear. So I wanted it again. I got the DC's Who's Who. Uh, what issue is this one? Uh, this is issue. Uh, uh, don't know. <laughs> this is issue fifty. Yeah, I think this. Believe. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. But anyway, yeah, I got this, and I also you know. Um, I got my brigade remaster from there. Uh, I also love collecting these guys. Every, every time when I used to go to comic shops, I always used to get these. The newspaper um, magazines, you know, um, the newspapers, news of comics, you know, dude. Yeah, we got the internet and we could easily read up on this, but it was just exciting, just getting this and just, just uh, loving it because I always just love reading these as a kid. Anyway, when I used to go to comic book shops and I still get them and read them, and it just so you know, it, that's how important it is to go to the comic shop and support it, man, and and loving it because it, it's like I said, it's not a lot of comic shops anymore. They're leaving. And they're going, and it's. I just believe if you can go to your local comic shop and just enjoy what they have. Like uh, Tim Davis, when I went up in there, he greeted me with open arms. She's like, "I knew you was coming up in here today," you know. And that was great hearing that from him. Um, it was it's awesome for talking to him again. Every time I go in there, we all have we have a great conversation about movies, toys, or whatever, etc. Um, but yeah, enjoy this video I got, guys. It's not a real long video because I, I brought the wrong phone, the wrong phone, and ended up dying on me. But 
you know, just enjoy the, the short video footage I had to show you guys how if one it was to go in a combo shop. Um, uh, so we're growing this channel. We're trying to get to 200. Let's go. We can do it. Um, if not, please like this video, smash that subscribe, click that bell to get notifications, and let's keep this channel growing, guys. We can do it. I am hoping you guys we, we can do it. Ain't no hoping. We can do this. No hope. We can do it. I know we can do it. We hit 100. We're going to hit 200. That's the goal. We're going to keep growing. Take it step by step, baby. Step by step. So enjoy the video. Raymond, I'm out. You have a blessed day. Take care. So I'm in a comic book shop today. I'm getting some comics. Uh, I turn to reality. It's my local comic shop. Yes, I love coming here. As you can see. A lot of cool stuff here. Oh man, look at that green liner. Yes, I love coming to the comic book store, y'all. And even though I got my copy, I had to get another copy of Brigade. Yes, I'm in it. Raymond Lemon. <laughs> Yeah, they got a lot of great comics here. Let's go to some back issues. Let's see. They got Cybernonics. Cyber what's the cyber cyberine? Cyberines. Can you cyborg? Do they have any Cyber Force? I think that's what Cyber Force guys look. Cyber Force. Some more Cyber Force. One right here. Going for three bucks. Some more Cyber Force. Wow. That's Cyber Force Zero. Three bucks. See what else they got here. They got some Daredevil. Trying to keep this camera in focus this time. And they got Daredevil. What are old school back issues at a Daredevil? I think that's I think that's another wall. This is like the other like type of being. Look at that. Right oh, there, down. Uh, keep it moving. Aquaman. Black Adam. Look at that cone in. Ah, uh, that thing statue. That's so awesome. I haven't been in a while. You got more up in the front, too, just so yeah. you know. Yeah, man. I've been in a while. I'm just revisiting and enjoying it. <laughs> Come shops are harder to come by now. Yeah, I'm just, man. That's why I said I'm cherishing every moment of it. Oh, man, and more back issues. Oh, man, so many back issues. Bear with me, y'all. Miracle Man. More Miracle Man. Yes, comic book shops are very, very hard to come by, y'all. Here goes some Megaton comics. Four dollars. I think one of these are what Rob did. More Megaton. Oh man, this is this was cool about comics. So you come and you get get something you want. It don't have to be new comics. It could be something old school, you know. It could be something old school. Look at that saber too. Wow. Yeah, I'm just giving you guys. Let's grow the channel, guys. Share it. Let everyone know about it. 
Let's get to 200 subscribers. Diverse Comics and pop.